What do you do when the name of your game is a pun on the platform that the game is released on, and then years later you want to port it to another system? Well, you change one letter and accept that the pun doesn't work anymore. FC Genjin was originally PC Genjin, and it was one of the major releases on the Famicom's rival platform, the PC Engine. The main character, Genjin, first appeared in the pages of the magazine Monthly PC Engine. The name Genjin means caveman in Japanese, so the whole thing was just one joke. PC Genjin had three games over on the PC Engine, but now it's 1993, and the platform isn't doing so well. At the point of this recording, there's only four more games that will be released on their cartridge format. The CD add-on has a bit more life in it, thanks to targeting an uh, adult audience. Technically, the platform will outlive the Famicom, with one game released in December 1994, but that game was released almost a full year after the previous game. So it's a real Pyrrhic victory there. FC Genjin is a scaled-down port of the original PC Genjin. Their goal in the game is to rescue a kidnapped princess, because they really couldn't come up with any other plot. The Famicom Genjin's moveset is actually a little bit simpler than the original. It's still A for jump, and B to perform some kind of headbutt. If you're on the ground, you just slam in front of you, but if you're in the air, you do a little twirl and turn upside down. The general rule here is that your head is the part of your body that's the most difficult to hurt, so hitting enemies with it will take them out. That means you can jump up into them, jump onto them as long as you've flipped over, or just smash your head into them. On the other hand, if an enemy touches your body, then you'll get hurt. Genjin starts out with three hearts, and you can collect vegetables to restore a little bit of health, a small heart to restore a bit more health, a big heart to completely refill your health, or an empty heart to increase that life bar by one. You'll find giant flowers scattered around on stages. They'll often release one of these items, or they could actually be a monster that will hurt you. Really, what you want to do is headbutt them, and if they're good flowers, the item will pop out, and if they're bad flowers, they'll just stay the same. Another thing that you'll be able to pick up are smiley faces. If you collect enough of them, you'll get an extra life, and your current total is used after you defeat a boss to restore your health. Now, since it rolls back to zero after you get that extra life, you often won't have very many at that point. The other big thing that you can collect is meat. Meat comes in two forms, small and large. And getting meat evolves Genjin. Though the evolutions here are exactly the same. In either evolved form, if you headbutt the ground, it will kill all enemies on the screen. Getting hit while you're evolved will drop you down one level. The small meat increases your evolution one level, and the big meat increases it to maximum. When you evolve to the second level, whether it's through collecting two small meats or one big meat, then Genjin becomes invulnerable for a while. You'll also devolve back to your previous level after about 30 seconds. So if you want to evolve and get that invulnerability, it helps to move fast. Collecting one of these tiny flowers will take you to a bonus stage where you need to use some of Genjin's additional movement abilities. Here you need to scale this wall and Genjin can climb vertical surfaces by mashing the A button. You can even climb up waterfalls that are in the background like this. On this bonus stage, you need to see how long you can stay in the air and then land on your feet. Every time you hit B while you're jumping, you flip over, and while doing that one time will let you headbutt what's below you, mashing B will slow your descent while you spin in the air. On this final bonus stage, you have to jump from platform to platform while collecting the vegetables, and it becomes a good example of the significant problem with FC Genjin. The controls are pretty bad. It's not just that they're unresponsive, and they do tend to be. It's not just that sometimes small motions will result in big movement. It's that the movement is often inconsistent. Is that jump going to take you a big distance or a small distance? You don't really know until you've started jumping. It makes precision maneuvers a real pain in this game. It's especially annoying on the bosses, as all of them require that you smash their helmet, but it's tricky to consistently land on them. If you've spent a lot of time mastering the movement here, and do everything exactly right, then it's possible to bounce on their heads over and over again. But more likely, you're going to make one hit, bounce, try to bounce back onto them, but get hit instead, 
and you're just going to wind up annoyed. If you do get killed, you'll revive exactly where you are, but you have to press start to begin your next life. Fortunately, FC Genjin is a pretty easy game. I managed to complete it in my hour-long recording session, and it's been a long time since I've played this one. If for some reason you do find the game to be challenging, and I don't know why you would, a level select is available by pressing and holding left, down, A, B, select, and then pressing start. It only works when you power the system on, though. It's a 1993 Famicom game, so it had absolutely no impact in Japan. And the most common of the very few comments I could find about the game were, there was a Famicom version? My take on FC Genjin is, well, it's fine, but I'd play something else. While the graphics and level design and enemies and even the basic gameplay mechanics are pretty good, they're all really let down by how sloppy the controls feel. The PC Genjin series didn't feel like this. Why does the Famicom version have these problems? This is a game that while I was playing it, I kept feeling like this should be better. At least you could always play the PC Engine version. 